I first came here about a year ago, walking my dog on some private land near where I live, and I saw these stone monoliths cropping out of this field on the outskirts of Iowa City, and I thought they were very strange. The sign here told me that they had been moved in 2002, these stones moved from Flores Island in Indonesia, which is at least 10,500 miles away from here. Stranger yet, I myself had been to Flores, Indonesia. There are 11 stones here in a circle, and it was just over 11 years ago that I was in Flores. I was in Flores because I was desperately trying to get into East Timor. I was with a Time Magazine photographer. His name is Dan. I was a stringer for Time Magazine, and like a lot of journalists, we were trying to get into East Timor after the vote for independence, in which a majority of East Timorese voted for independence from Indonesia and the violence that followed. Uh, Indonesian military-backed militia wreaked havoc on the island in a slash-and-burn campaign that lasted for more than a week, after which journalists had to evacuate, most of them anyway. And then, in, in the rush to get back to the story, that's how Dan and I found ourselves trying to talk fishermen, essentially, into making the five to six to seven to eight hour boat ride into Dealey Harbor. Nobody would take us. They were too afraid. So we had to fly back to yet another island, and eventually we got into East Timor, but not that day. It was terribly disappointing. So here are these stones more than 10,000 miles away from where they came, looking really out of place, just as I, 11 years after living in Indonesia, also find myself in Iowa City, and it's not that it's so strange, it's just very, very different from the life that I led in those years of living dangerously. Come on, Bill. Come on. <laughs> 